Hello, this is uh, Sara and Cthulhu back with a little update. Uh, I wrote last night on the Facebook page that I had found a really, really, really great record and frankly I knew not much about this band, nothing about the record, I just went to my local shop, had to listen to a few records, maybe 10 of them, and just found this and got completely blown away. Um, yeah, but I will uh, show that uh, soon, later on. Uh, at first, uh, I want to remind everyone about my contest, uh, the Druggy Contest, uh, Druggy Records. Um, uh, so check out that video please and join. So far I think I've seen three guys uh, competing. It would be nice if there were a couple of uh, females as well and of course more people joining. It will uh, stay in, in um, progress for uh, a month uh, after I shot the video. And, uh, so <clears throat> um, please check it out. Um, I oh, sorry if I'm a bit too unusually unfocused. I'm I'm pretty pretty nervous usually when I shoot these videos, but today I'm very tired. I almost didn't get any sleep. I don't know if it was. Uh, if it's the the weather, it's pouring rain and very weird weather here now. So maybe that because it wasn't full moon. Usually I have a hard time sleeping then. But anyway, I started the day with some coffee, and I've now got more coffee in my spider mug. Um, and some uh, uh, D-beat crust. Uh, let me show you that. This is Wolf Brigade, uh, a band which actually started out as uh, Wolf Pack, but they changed the name because they didn't want to be associated with neo-Nazi stuff. Um, this is what the logo looked like before. Um, this is actually from 96 and they started in 95 so I bought that when it was new uh, but they changed their name to Wolf Brigade and they're from a, a town uh, some of the members of a town nearby uh, Jonsson the singer from the Swedish crust band um, Antisemix which maybe a couple of you uh, punkers or maybe even metalheads know about uh, he started to sing in this band um, <clears throat> way back then uh, but this is a later re release it's from 2001 it's their fourth album uh, and looks like this I picked this up at a fair a record fair here in Sweden uh, this summer so that's how the picture disc looks like and, and this is really really aggressive crust well I think most crust is uh, aggressive but very aggressive so damn fast and it's just like a big kick in the face you know uh, really wakes you up so that and a cup of coffee then I listened to some Colmer stuff. I went to a charity shop yesterday, which I usually go to <clears throat> a couple of times a month, and I found some reggae for one dollar. This is the regulars with Victim. I had no idea of this group or this record, but I saw that it was a gold stamp promo, and also that it had a a free limited single and it and I just checked out and I listened to this before this is, was released in 79 it's really a chill out record very <laughs> different from 
Horse Brigade. But I love a mixture of stuff. Um, so I was really happy to find that because it was, it looks unplayed. Uh, and I'm starting to build up a small reggae collection. And those of you who listen to reggae, you, maybe you can give me some pointers at what to search for. Um, I've only uh, got uh, some records by Peter Tosh, I love him, and of course Mali and Black Uhuru and stuff, but uh, except from that, I don't know much uh, yet. So, um, please let me know, and uh, if you find any records by a group may, uh, named Culture, um, please let me know. Uh, I might trade or uh, I'm looking for that, so thank you. <laughs> well, <clears throat> shall we? I think so. Well, I've listened to this today, I listened to it yesterday. I came home very stoked, you know, uh, I was at the record store listening to interesting stuff, you know, I liked it. Some uh, old Jetro Tull and uh, Grateful Dead and stuff and I found this lying around and it's pretty, it, it, it's pretty worn, uh, not a very nice sleeve actually, but I don't mind that sometimes, you know. This album, when, when, <sighs> when I put the record player on and my headphones, um, and dropped the needle, in a couple of seconds I thought, hmm, this sounds pretty good, but then in less than a minute I was completely blown away by the heaviness, the aggressiveness, the <laughs> so greatly produced sound of, of this album. Um, I, I was very uh, surprised. Um, let me show it. Maybe not a great for you, maybe not, it's not a very expensive record, you know, but uh, this album has grown to be, in just since last night, grown to be one of my favorite albums by far. So, this is Air Cut by Curved Air. And you can see it's a bit worn, but this is really my copy. Um, look at that. I always show the cover and say, look at that, but can you see it? The singer there. Oh. And just look. Mm. Uh, I'm pretty speechless, but, but l let me try to express uh, what this is. This is uh, Curved Air. Uh, I've heard about the name, but I haven't actually, uh, before this, listened to this band closely at all, actually. But this is um, a, a progressive rock band from uh, the 70s, from, from England. And this is their fourth album. Uh, released in 73 and this copy I have is a uh, Warner Brothers uh, German copy and I can really really recommend this because It's been a long time since I heard a record Play this well, you know sounds so good. It's It's completely amazing. I don't know how they produced this but <laughs> Ah, it's bah. Uh, Curved Air played a bit more uh, folkier music before this. Uh, they started their rock uh, part, uh, so to speak, uh, a more uh, 
uh, dive into the rock rockier type of uh, uh, stuff um, <coughs> and the the singer the singer which is called Sonia Christina I wrote this up uh, wrote it, wrote this down because I couldn't remember her name there's no info at all on the record it's just this picture so <coughs> Sonia Christina she blows me away <sighs> I, I like Renaissance you know and uh, I like it Coven as you know but she is such a great great vocalist she has a really clear and strong strong voice but she doesn't come out of too soft or no I can uh, I'm very 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 picky about the female singers in, in rock music I have uh, there's not many I like actually, but I love her voice. It goes so well together with this music. And this record is heavy as fuck. You know, for the time period, 73, it's a very aggressive organ. Um, it's almost... It's progressive rock with a bit of folk, uh, but it's very much some kind of early hard rock as well, because it's so heavy. Um, it has a great, great bass sound and so, so good, really, really good drummer. He is really, 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 really cool. Um, he plays so well, together with the bass, the drums, the heavy organ, her voice, the guitars, a bit distorted, you know. <laughs> Oof. There are a few songs on this album which is a bit more soft, but uh, songs like uh, uh, Easy, the last one, and Metamorphosis, the last one which I mentioned there is one of the greatest songs ever, I think. Um, let me show you, because you really need to check this out. And um, have a listen first to the opening track, The Purple Speed Queen. Isn't that a good name? The Purple Speed Queen. It starts out a bit soft and then just poof, it blows your speakers away you know if you have a, a, I don't have top of the line um, sound system but it's very good uh, <laughs> uh, my cat one of my cats was actually sitting on the floor because she likes to be near the speakers and she was like <laughs> and when the music st kicked off she was like <laughs> You know, and she <laughs> never reacts <laughs> to heavy stuff. But she was blown away as well. And I can tell she liked this motherfucker as well. So, check that out. Have a listen. Maybe I found a link to some of the um, songs here on YouTube. Uh, then I put it in the description box. Otherwise, check it out yourself. Because it's... You know, Jun Metallion from uh, Norway, I think you will enjoy this if you haven't heard it. If it's not too soft for you. Uh, by the way, I am really happy that you got uh, Il Balletto di Bronzo, uh, which I recommended in one of my first videos. Really cool. And uh, yeah, I, th um, I bet Derek knows about uh, Curved Air Aircut. And... Uh, I guess many of you do, but maybe I'm late discovering this grail, but um, better late than never, you know? Um, I, as I heard this record when I came home, uh, of course I had to ramble frantically, uh, like, a, like, a, like a freak to my partner, you know? 
was at home about this record and just ah, was completely mad because I found such a good album. <clears throat> and then I wondered if, you know, what did I put here? Uh, these two bands, or three you can say, have listened to Curved Air. Uh, I know they've listened, both of them have listened to Coven with the female vocalist, but I am wondering if I think and hope that Blood Ceremony have, have listened to Curve there. Uh, Blood Ceremony are absolutely one of my uh, favorite modern bands uh, that have uh, that old sound and great female vocalists as well. And really nice people. I met them on their tour here uh, last year, I think it was. They signed my poster up there, which I'll show another time. And they were really nice, cool people. And one of the best concerts I've been to. It was even more heavier live. Uh, uh, this is the newest one, of course. Um, ha have you not heard of Blood Ceremony? You should really listen to them. They're on uh, Rise Above records, you know, like uh, Electric Wizard and such. And also I wondered if not uh, Jex Toth uh, from Canada had listened to some Curved Air. Maybe? Um, I'm taking the opportunity to uh, show this um, which is Sabbath Assembly their first and only record. Um, Jex also sings on this album. Uh, this is a collaboration between her and the drummer. Really, really great drummer. And also saw uh, this band live as they played um, before Earth when they were here uh, last year. So I saw them uh, met with the drummer and uh, he got me in touch with Jex, so she signed this, and this is uh, a gold vinyl, so it matches the sleeves brilliantly. Um, and I must say that meeting Jex was really special, you know, she had the type of aura around her, some kind of energy, uh, which somehow reminded me a bit of uh, I don't know, I got the feeling of uh, meeting a very a good singer, but dramatic, you know, uh, a star. Uh, she didn't uh, act like uh, a huge star, you know, but it was, uh, she had some kind of, you know, a Janis Joplin thing going on about her. I could really re recommend this. This is quite uh, soft or mellow stuff, uh, occult stuff. Uh, they've ta uh, taken the influence of uh, a cult here and uh, putting uh, music to very cultish uh, lyrics and uh, the drummer is very very good and her singing is amazing I actually think I prefer this to Yex Toth even though I like them too but uh, um, Blood Ceremony are um, really, 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 um, even more something I recommend if you would check it out. So, <clears throat> I hope they've both listened to this. Anyway, check that out. Um, I hope I am uh, showing you some diverse records. Uh, uh, my taste is... Uh, uh, broadening, of course, and uh, 
Um, I hope you enjoy my videos. I will soon be back uh, answering a couple of threads and uh, also having a proper uh, update video with more records and uh, I really feel like uh, picking out some records in my collection just very different stuff and just uh, talk about them and show maybe some hello there's Suze the other cat um, um, showing some uh, weird stuff um, everything from black metal to this stuff so have a good time I'll be back and please comment if you have any opinion um, um, needless to say I'm still a bit nervous and I think I will always be making these videos I feel like I feel quite scared actually um, and have to force myself to do it because it's a lot of fun to recommend stuff and also uh, see other people's uh, videos and uh, get some response of you and I love you guys so thank you very much for watching and take care